What's going on YouTube? In today's video, me and my bud here, Mr. T, are going to show you the coolest place to be in a Jeep Wrangler if you're a dog. Today we're looking at the Dirty Dog 4x4 cargo net for the JL Wrangler. It's a three-piece cargo net that's pretty uncomplicated to install and it looks great. It's perfect for pet owners like myself uh, keeping your dogs and their heads inside the Jeep uh, when you're going down the road. I do not recommend this uh, to have your dogs loosen just because it's not going to, you don't want to rely on this to protect them in the event of an accident. Uh, whenever we have our dogs with us, we have them in a harness and a tether clipped to the, uh, the uh, anchor points in the cargo area here. But this gives us some extra peace of mind to make sure they're not sticking their heads out too far or, uh, or acting like they're going to jump out or something. Not that I think they would, but it looks cool and it's functional. So I'm not going to do a full install video. It's obviously already installed and there's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube um, showing how to install this. Uh, the one I watched, I believe, was... Uh, the JL Life or something like that. Uh, great video showing you each step. Um, however, my kit came with a couple different pieces than what you see in the instructions online in, or, and in videos. So I don't know if this is a newer model or an older model, but it's pretty much the same except for this one part, which I'll show you. Um, I'm not gonna take you through install, but I will show you how it connects um, in all the places. First note, go ahead and get this out of the way. My Jeep is a hard top. It did not come with these pieces right here. These are uh, Mopar parts for the soft top. Um, with your rear window, it snaps into this. This cargo net is designed to snap into this piece. It comes with everything you need except for this these pieces here it comes with this bar um, now if you have a soft top you already have this piece so i ordered uh this net from quadratech and i also ordered these pieces the uh the uh what do they call them the tailgate bar retainer clips or something like that you have to order a passenger and a driver's side and basically you just use one of your roof bolts uh to anchor this in and when you put your hard top back on you you're gonna have to take these off so it's fine that you're using that bolt because you're gonna have to remove this bolt to put the hard top back on but with that out of the way those that's all you need is the cargo net and then those two pieces um they're not terribly expensive i want to say it was like 30 or 40 bucks um for both of these i mean it's not terribly expensive when you consider how much Jeeps cost in general. But anyway, so when I installed, I went ahead and put the side triangles on first um, since I had to wait an extra day to, for these to come in. Uh, everything shipped really quickly. I was pretty surprised. I had the cargo net the day after I ordered it from Quadratech and then these the day after that, which... I've normally had to wait a lot longer anytime I purchase anything on Quadratech, but uh, they really uh, stepped their game up on this one. I guess it was in stock and no issues or whatnot. But anyway, I went ahead and put the side pieces on. Um, it's just a uh, strap, um, another strap, and you'll see how those go on in other videos and whatnot. Um, you'll have one here, and then you'll have one here that you will actually anchor into the bed or not the bed the cargo area this long strap that will come down here and that's on either side um you have these little hooks to go into the rail here and then the other weird part is on the uh, sides here you're going to run this strap through the eye of this uh grommet here and then attach it to your door striker. Kind of interesting, but this does not, as long as you move it to this side, the inside of the striker, it does not affect you opening and closing the door. Closes fine, opens fine, closes fine. 
and that's the same on either side and so now we're going to get to the back here um like i said if you have a soft top you already have these if you don't you got to buy these it does come with this rail pull out like that it splits in the middle somewhere here and uh you just kind of i guess just to make it easier to ship and then you just run it through all these so we'll have two buckles here two here and then a strap around the top of the uh, sport bar here one over here then you have these two rings up top and you'll have a strap that you run around the sport bar on each side and then run it through or the, the ring. Now, here's where mine differs. So, the clip's right here. In most of the YouTube videos I've seen, they show one strap with a, a female side buckle and a little triangular piece that goes um you, you use a bolt here and they give you a cup they give you a bolt with a shoulder washer to put here or you can just use your factory um hardware which is what i did because this is gonna have to come out to put the hard top back on anyway but and then so like i said for the ones i've seen previously you only have the one strap but then you have a strap that loops around here with a buckle here um for this side I don't know if this is the updated one or if this is the older one, but what you get instead is this strap with two female buckles sewn together with a grommet, and then you put your uh, bolt through, and basically they'll split like that and connect to these pieces. These buckles, these male side buckles will not be on there. You'll just kind of thread them in and then... Uh, adjust them as needed so when you're trying to get in the back here you just undo these two on either side you will like i just showed you lift your bar out and then you can throw this over the top of the jeep out of the way if you're needing to get into the cargo area And once again, you'll see how this bottom strap, they loop down here and connect into uh, this uh, cargo tie down. And it seems kind of weird uh, to have them like that, but you can still use this to tie down whatever. It's not preventing you from doing that. And you have another one back here, if need be. It's just covered by this uh, cargo um, liner uh this is if you're wondering this is the smitty built gear cargo liner i don't remember the exact name of it but we got this for the dogs because they shed just non-stop and it it's actually worked very great um it's convertible so uh if you want to put the rear seats up you can just fold all this in and then it has attachments for the rear headrest to uh, uh support it yeah, pretty happy with this setup. But getting back to the cargo net, like I mentioned, we got this for our dogs, and so far it has worked great. And it, it's definitely cool looking. Um, so when it comes time to put the hard top back on, these can stay the i would personally not leave it in here but the back can stay i would probably for what i'm going to do is just uh, take these straps off undo these straps and these are just wrapped around and fed through the the uh, clip on both sides and then um obviously undo these and i'm just going to remove this because you lose a lot of, uh, with the hard top on, you lose a lot of vertical space right here. And it's going to cut down on your visibility in the rear. So I'm going to remove the middle uh, back portion whenever I have the hard, when I'm running the hard top. Um, but 
you could, if you want to, if you're lazy, you could just set this bar here. You still have to remove these pieces, like I said. And you'll still need to remove this. However, they, I will say the bolt they give you is longer, so if you wanted to, you could remove that bolt, put your hard top on, then run the long bolt through with these straps on there and still buckle this piece in. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove the uh, middle myself. I think that makes more sense. Also, um, it'll give me access to my bat, my XG cargo bags that I have right here. Um, you've seen in another video. I have them off right now because um, for riding around, you know, downtown or whatever, they're just like asking for somebody to to go through them. So I've removed them since I'm not you know, wheeling. I generally like to have the hard top on if I'm wheeling just because of the dust situation. Oh, dust everywhere for days. You will never get rid of it. But, um, anyway, that is the Dirty Dog 4x4 cargo net. Pretty pleased with it. Another shout out to Quadratech for just way faster shipping than I'm used to. Um, Oh, this is easier said than done with one hand. Such is the life of holding a camera for YouTube. Um, I'm going to get it though. There we go. All right. God, that took way too long. Sorry. So. Anyway, Dirty Dog 4x4 cargo net, highly recommend it. Now, I don't have any experience as to how it's going to hold up or how it's going to do if you have it out in the sun all the time. My Jeep stays in the garage if I'm at home, so it's not going to get as much sun exposure as somebody who's just running topless all the time and parking outside. Uh, hopefully these straps are you know, made strong and aren't gonna fray or tear. I haven't had it long enough to give you any kind of uh, introspective on that part. But anyway, that is a quick look at it and cool place to hang out if you're a dog. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will get back to you. Have a good one.